Hi. I've got the Phase 1 XF 100 megapixel camera in my hand. Uh, yes, it's a heavy camera. There's no question about it. It weighs in about 4 pounds, but it is a camera done right. You'll read all about it in the review below, but I wanted to show you a little bit uh, of what this camera is like, what it feels like when you're holding it, and what it looks like. Go over a couple of the basics. This is a brand new camera. Essentially, I call it a trifecta. It's got lenses, body, and back. And these are all brand new in the sense of the design that Phase One now has to offer. It's a complete system. 100 megapixels, a brand new camera system, and the blue line lenses, which are the newest Schneider lenses that Phase One has to offer. Let's talk a little bit about what this 100 megapixel back and camera can offer. It has a CMOS chip which is capable of 50 to 12,800 ISO capability. And we do have an ISO test below so you can see uh, what the difference looks like as far as the different ISO ranges. Yes, it's a little noisy at 12,800, but nothing that can't be taken care of. And it's actually pretty usable, especially when you consider what we used to have in the olden days as far as that goes with high-speed film. It's got a 15-stop dynamic range, incredible dynamic range. There's some examples below. Uh, I was taking pictures in situations where I expected to see clipping, and I saw a toe at both ends of the histogram. That's an exceptional thing to see as far as I'm concerned. One of the secret sauces for the quality that Phase 1 is able to achieve with this back is because it's a 16-bit capture. 16-bit equals 65,536 shades of gray per pixel. This allows each pixel to catch very, very subtle nuances, and when combined in the number of pixels that this camera has, the subtleties and the differences and the way things are rendered color-wise is just absolutely phenomenal. Beautiful differentiations of shades between pixels, specifically when crammed together, give you a much smoother looking image in the end, uh, full of vibrant colors. Of course, when you use the largest color space and so forth, um, that's a whole other story. Uh, it does have a leaf shutter in the camera, and a leaf shutter is capable of syncing up to 1600th of a second. High speeds and mixing with vocal plane shutter, which it also has, uh, it can shoot up to one four thousandths of a second and up to 60 minutes long. Uh, it's pretty incredible, uh, long exposure capability. It's got a lot of other cool features in it. This is a touch handle, so essentially whatever you want, you just touch on it. It also has a swipe, and so you can swipe from one setup to another. We have HDR, time lapse, focus stacking, hyper vocal distance calculator, seismograph, and a level, as well as a locking screen. There's a lot of things. It's all touch oriented. Same thing with the back. If you want to work the back, everything is a touchback. You touch a button, go to the home menu, hit play. You can see the images. You can swipe through and see your images like this. Anyway, it's all explained in the article. It's a marvelous camera system. It's not for everybody, okay? Before we get all the form going and everybody jumping up and down their high horse, this is a niche camera. It's a $48,000 camera, as seen right here. I'm sure you might be able to get it a little bit cheaper from one of the dealers. And speaking of dealers, Phase One doesn't sell this camera through B&H and camera stores. It sells it through a dedicated network of dealers that are there to help you maximize the potential with this camera and also with the Phase One Capture One software. If you make an investment with the dealer and with Phase One, you've got a whole path to go. They offer upgrades, trade-ins, always have, always done. It's a pretty good deal. But remember, you know, this isn't for everybody. It is an incredible camera, though. And as a number of my friends have said, it is the pinnacle of all cameras. It is the camera that other cameras should be measured by. You owe it to yourself, if nothing else, even if you can't afford to purchase this camera, to go out and shoot it sometime at an event somewhere and experience what a 100 megapixel file is. I can't even put the 100 megapixel RAWs up in our article for you to download. I have included some JPEGs and you can download those and they can show you a pretty good representation of what this camera is capable of. 
but really the, the raw file, put it into Capture One, and then manipulate it, you'll just find it's absolutely amazing. You'll be pulling details and highlights. You'll be pulling details in the shadows. And they've got all sorts of layers and adjustments and things you can do to be able to get the maximum out of the file. Anyway, I think Phase One has done a great job with this. There's a whole series of lenses. There's a waist level finder. They do have a number of other backs of 100 megapixels too much for you. You can switch over to a different back. But overall, it's a great camera. It's heavy and it's expensive and it's not one I'm going to take out every day. But the images that I've been getting out of this camera are just astounding. Read the article below, take a look at some of the sample images I put in there. I wish we could even do higher res than you can see on the web. But it's worthwhile taking a look at it if you're actually interested in taking your photography to a next step. Thanks for coming by. I'll see you on the Luminous Landscape.